Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be doing some tests on the internal antenna of this Seed Studio SenseCat T1000E. This is the new, um, basically new node from um, Seed Studio. So this runs, this can run Meshtastic firmware as well as other stuff as well. Um, this is the Meshtastic version. Um, I've done an apps, a kind of full rundown on this, on this in another video, so go check that out. But basically this is interesting because it's got this kind of internal antenna here. Um, there's no external antenna, so you can't connect any kind of external antenna up to it. But Seed Studio say that they've actually done quite a lot of work um, to make sure this antenna doesn't interact with all the other parts on here. And they've done a lot of testing to it. And I think from what I see initially, it doesn't seem bad. Like the performance of it actually seems comparable to something like this sort of antenna, um, which are known to be not that good as an external antenna, but hey ho you know they, they do work so today what we're going to do is we're going to take all this stuff out and we're going to do some different tests on antennas so basically i'm going to obviously test this and i'm going to use a t deck here as well which has got the gui firmware on it. it's got this pretty cool um signal meter display and um, that's that's kind of part of it now um it's it's so awesome this firmware the way this is kind of going but this is obviously a development thing it's not um, available as general release you've got to compile it yourself all that sort of stuff but anyway um, antenna wise what we've got here is you've got a TBS um, this was actually for a crossfire uh, setup which is for the, the FPV drone stuff but the antenna runs from 868 megahertz to I don't know, I think it's like 880 or something like that it's got quite a wide bandwidth this this antenna that's quite a good one and we've got the classic um, Paradar whip that I recommended years, say years, it wasn't years, months ago, I recommended this antenna. Um, there are numerous ones out there, but this was the first one that I tried that was actually absolutely brilliant. And I know a lot of people use these in the lofts and stuff and they get really good results. Um, it's just a good sort of instant hop up antenna without going to something, um, you know, crazy and putting, putting up big omnis outside and things like that. You can put one of these in your loft any node and it will make a massive improvement um you know we've tried this loads of times and it does does actually work so let's head out and i'm going to go to one of my remote nearby one of my remote nodes and we'll do some tests right okay here we go in the beautiful british wilderness um so it's a little bit breezy up here but basically hartford hill node which i'm going to use as my little kind of test um is over here by these trees along here probably about i don't know i think it's about a kilometer maybe a kilometer and a half away something like that Actually, it's two kilometers, you can see here, Hartford Hill Solar. Okay, so I'm gonna get the sense cap and I'm gonna hold it up here. This is the antenna, but I'm actually gonna face it away, first of all, on purpose. I'm gonna face it away from those hills. So it's facing the other way, just to see, you know, if it makes any difference. We'll turn it around after. But let's get a signal check on that and see what that's performing like. I'll just carry on holding this here. Okay, so this is the app that's connected to the sense cap. Um, and I'm just going to search for Hartford Hill Solar, which is what we want here. And what I'm going to do is hit request position rather than trace route, because that will just give you a quick bounce and give you a quick signal report. Um, so, okay, so we've done that, and it's saying minus 104. So that's minus 104. Let's do it again, just to just to check we've got, we're in the zone. There you go. There is a variation. You see that Ni minus 92 now. So the noise level is quite high. I've got to say. And we're getting minus five, minus 100 now, um, and 5.3. So, you know, you get the idea. Let's do it one more time. It's gone up now. Right, now let's twist it round so that it's actually facing the uh, the woods over there where, the, where Hartford uh, Hill is. Right, so we're getting 99. So, you know, it's, it's similar, 97. That's not bad at all. I mean, if I stand up a bit, you're going to might get a bit more wind noise for me but um i'll stand up a bit 98 so you know it's between that 95 and that sort of 100 level not bad at all i don't think that's bad from here let's compare that to the t deck with its with its little stubby antenna on obviously something's happening here i keep getting messages coming so we're obviously connected to something look at that guys it's a kite i think or kestrel something like that Okay, so now with the T deck, let's just find Hartford Hill again. Okay, so we'll just open Signal Scanner, um, and what we'll be able to do is get effectively all this really does is just sends like a, a position request, like I was doing before on the app. So let's try that to Hartford Hill. You can see, look, it's two kilometres away there. Um, so we'll just try that doing that. We'll hit that once, 
and did that change? So we get no, we're getting 98 now. So minus 98, this is an omnidirectional antenna. These are known to be average. This is one of the better ones. This isn't one of the, the really bad ones. Some of them are terrible. I did measure a few different ones and this one actually came out the best. It's for quite low SWO actually. It's at 1.2 um, SWO on, um, on 86, 9.525. Um, so you can see, very comparable to what we were getting on that sense cap. You know, the lowest we saw on the sense cap was like minus 92. And this is doing minus 95, minus 97, pretty consistently. And the noise level is, the noise level is actually very low though. That's what I will say. Um, so yeah, you know, that's pretty good on the sense caps kind of point of view. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna change the antenna on this and you'll see how this really does make a difference, <laughs> hopefully. So here's the power dial then. Let's give that a test and see. So, surprisingly enough, it's not actually that much difference. Let's try again. It doesn't make a huge amount of difference. I'm surprised by that. Tell you what though, the um, signal to noise ratio, look at that. Signal to noise is very, very good. Um, you know, you can see that by this left bar here. Um, you really want to pay attention to signal to noise because it does make a massive difference um, to the signal. So your RSSI is, is very similar, but the signal to noise is definitely definitely stronger I mean <laughs> he says as it goes down but that could just be kind of you know interference or whatever like that not that there should be much interference in this sort of remote field but there you go let's see right there minus 99 but a, a signal to noise of 3.8 so you know these antennas are going to definitely improve things um, but not you know your signal strength might not show dramatically uh, more but your, your signal to noise ratio is is very important so there you go I've got one more antenna I need to try that little uh, that TBS one so over to this TB antenna which I believe is a Moxon antenna so I'm pretty sure we're pointing it the right way around orientation wise um, yeah so let's have a look at that then so we've got minus 95 and 5.2 so 5.2 on the signal to noise ratio which is very 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 good i mean you know that's going to improve the signal even more um so yeah that is a good antenna so to sum up then it seems like the sense cap t1000e is actually doing a pretty good job it's no worse than any other kind of node that has either an internal antenna or just like a small little stubby antenna that sort of thing so whatever they've done here has actually meant that this works really well out in the field i've been testing this and it's just been kind of well i've noticed it beeping in my pocket um, getting messages from my mesh. So I haven't noticed this has been particularly bad in any sort of way. Um, so yeah, I'd be happy to use this generally as like a, well I do, I literally just shove this in my pocket if I don't want to take, you know, either the, the T-Deck, which has kind of become my daily driver now with this with this OS on it. So yeah, well done Seed Studio. So there's been some more other announcements of new products coming along as well. Um, and we're going to be featuring some, hopefully some new ones that are coming along as well from, from other brands. So stand by for that. Meanwhile, links to all this stuff are in the description of the video. Go check it out. And yeah, have fun with Meshtastic and Mesh Radio stuff. Catch you next time.